Hey guys, Dr. Childs here. Today I wanna to talk to you about the nature throid shortage um, and really what's kinda of going on. I've been getting a lot of patients who are contacting me via email, they're asking me about nature throid, they're trying to figure out when it's gonna be back, what they should do because they can't get it, uh, and so on. And, and so we're gonna be talking about all of these things right now. Now, what you should know is that yes, there is a nature throid shortage right now. Uh, the, date of today, the date today is October 14, 2021. I'm not sure when this will be uploaded, but as of today, the day that I'm recording this, Nature Throid is still unavailable, and it has been unavailable for some time, in fact, many months. In addition to Nature Throid, we also are seeing shortages in WP Thyroid, and that is because they are both created by the same lab, uh, the same pharmaceutical company. So if you have a, an issue with one, you usually have an issue with the other. Now, I'm gonna show you sort of how to keep an eye on this if you're somebody who wants to keep an eye on yourself, but just know that if anything changes, I will create a video, I will create a blog post and probably send out an email uh, to my email list of about over 90,000 thyroid patients. So if you wanna keep track of what's going on, you can sign up for my email by downloading one of my free re resources or just keep, it, keep an eye out to see when I post an update. If you wanna learn how to do it yourself, I'll talk about how to do that. So let's go to my screen here so you can see what's going on. So if you go to naturethroid.com, which is up here, on the first page, they'll kind of give you an update and they'll show you. You can see all the different grains of Nature Throid um, and you can see that they are all saying temporarily unavailable. So you see that right there? For all of the grains, they are still temporarily unavailable. And if you want to get a better idea of what's going on, you can click up at the top here to availability update or to voluntary recall information. So when you go to the available update, availability update, they actually don't provide you much information in terms of what's happening. Uh, they kind of keep in their, their cards close to their chest. Uh, a lot of people have speculated what's going on. Um, I don't know exactly what's going on. I've reached out to them many times to try and get more information. So I have about the same amount of information as you guys based off of this. Uh, but what I do want to point, your, point uh, you to here is that even though you can't get Nature Thoid and WP thyroid from your pharmaceutical company, there you can't you do have an alternative, and that is to get the thyroid USP, which stands for thyroid United States Pharmacopeia. You can get the same active ingredient used in Nature Thyroid and WP thyroid because it can be given to a compounding pharmacy. So I'll, let me just read this to you. It says in the meantime, our supplier has made thyroid USP, which is the active ingredient, the same high quality active pharmaceutical ingredient API found in Nature Thyroid and WP thyroid available through compounding pharmacies. This active pharmaceutical ingredient is manufactured in the USA and is. 100% sourced in North America. So we'll talk about what to do if you're if you're if you are somebody. And by the way, a lot of people fit into this category. They are people who are using Nature Thyroid and, and or WP Thyroid. When it went away, they tried to switch to something like Armor Thyroid or even to NP Thyroid, and they're not feeling very well. So I want to talk to you, which I think is more important, about what you should do if you're one of these people, if you are taking Nature Thyroid or WP Thyroid, what are you supposed to do in order to feel better? So let's talk about that right now. So number one would be, if you know that for sure the only option for you is Nature Thyroid or WP Thyroid, your best option would be to get the active ingredients compounded at a compounding pharmacy. So what you can do as a patient is you can actually reach out to your local compounding pharmacy and ask them to order it and they can order it and make it. In fact, if your doctor does this or if you do it as a patient and they realize that there's enough demand, you might be able to get a local compounding pharmacy to do that for you. Now, there are some pharmacies in Arizona who are already doing this. So if you'd rather do it with somebody with a compounding pharmacy that um, is not in your state, but knows what they're doing, you can do that. There are some pharmaceutical companies in Arizona, which is where I reside, who are doing this, but I'm sure there are more uh, that are outside of Arizona that are also doing this. You may run into problems in terms of getting people to ship uh, medications from Arizona to whatever state you live in, so do keep that in mind. But the best thing you can do is talk to your provider, have them reach out to the compounding pharmacy, or you reach out to the compounding pharmacy and ask them to order it and to make it. They can actually order that ingredient and make it as if it was WP Thyroid or Nature Thyroid. Now, the, the amount of fillers and binders are gonna be different, um, and there may be some issue with, with potency, but I still think this is probably your best option if you know that Nature Thyroid or WP Thyroid was the thing that was working for you, and you've tried everything else and it's just not working. If you are somebody who is using one of those things and you may or may not fit into that category, then you still have some other options. So number two would be you can switch to NP thyroid or Armor thyroid. Now these are both different types of natural desiccated thyroid uh, medications that are available right now on the market. NP thyroid has had some issues with recalls, which I've talked about previously on my YouTube channel and on my, on my blog post, uh, but right now it is available um, as well as Armor thyroid. The problem is that a lot of people have tried these and have failed and that's why they're taking Nature Thyroid or WP thyroid because each of these sort of differs in the inactive ingredients and certain thyroid patients are very sensitive to these inactive ingredients. So they're usually using what works for them, right? And so if WP thyroid, which is a particularly clean form of natural desiccated thyroid was working for you, it's probably because you failed Armor thyroid or NP thyroid in the past. However, if you're able to do that, let's say you're not able to get a compounding pharmacy to, to use the active ingredient to make you the medication, well then a second best option may be 
to switch to NP thyroid or even to armor thyroid and see if those do the trick for you. Just realize that even though they're, they're equivalent dosing in terms of the active T4 and T3 ingredients, uh, you may need to adjust your dose based off of absor absorption or how you are utilizing or how your body is tolerating those inactive ingredients. So let's say you are using something like one grain of nature thyroid and you want to switch to one grain of NP thyroid or armor thyroid, give your body some time to see if that is a one-to-one -one match for you because you might need to go up or you might need to go down based off how your body's responding to those inactive ingredients because yes, they can impact absorption, which means they impact, even though you're taking the same dose, your body might be absorbing a different amount either higher or lower, and that can impact how you feel. So if you make the switch, give your body enough time uh, to, to acclimate to it, give your body enough time to see if you need to adjust your dosing. Uh, if you're going from nature, if you're going from, let's see, nature thyroid or WP thyroid to NP thyroid or armor thyroid. So that was number two. Number three, you can try a synthetic combo of T4 and T3. Now, a lot of people who use natural desiccated thyroid, they do so because they want to stay away from the synthetics. But let me tell you that all thyroid medications are bioidentical. A lot of people don't understand this or don't know it. So let me just explain it. So it doesn't matter if you're taking level thyroxine or armor thyroid or nature thyroid or WP thyroid, they all contain the same bioidentical thyroid hormones that your own body produces naturally. Now, yes, they're created or they're sourced from a different place. In the case of natural desiccated thyroid, they're usually from porcine or from pigs and synthetics are made in a lab, but they still look identical to the body. So a lot of people have an inherent distrust of level thyroxine and the synthetics. And I think that's because they usually are not using combinations of T4 and T3, but you can actually combine synthetic T4 and synthetic T3 and get a pretty good amount of thyroid hormones inside of your body that at least matches a similar equivalent dose of T4 and T3 found in uh, natural desiccated thyroid. Now, yes, you will miss out on some things like calcitonin and a little bit of T2, um, some iodine and some other ingredients, but if you can feel 90 to 95% better, or, or at least get almost to where you were on nature thyroid or WP thyroid, it's still worth looking into that as a potential option. So if you were going to do it, this is kind of how I would recommend looking at it. So when you look at the synthetic T3s, you have lyothyronine and cytomel. Cytomel being the brand name and lyothyronine being the generic name. And you can combine that with any form of synthetic T4. Now, I would recommend if you're gonna do this that you do tyrosine, which is the clean, one of the, well, almost the cleanest form, if you don't include tyrosine solution, but tyrosine, the, the gel cap is a very clean synthetic T4. It has fewer ingredients than many of the natural desiccated thyroid, by the way, and it's still bioidentical in terms of its, its thyroxine or T4 component. So you can combine lyothyronine and cytomel with tyrosine. So that gives you a, a T3 plus T4 combo. You can use sustained release T3, which is a compounded medication with tyrosine or another type of synthetic T4, or you can go directly to a compounding pharmacy and get them to compound you a T4 to T3 dose or whatever your desire is. So they can take and mix, mix and match and kind of alter whatever doses that you need. Now, between one of these three things, you should be able to figure out what works for your body and get back to where you were normally. Very rarely has it been the case that I've seen a thyroid patient who just doesn't do well on, on any thyroid medication except for one. There's usually at least a handful that will work. If you are one of those, um, that's kind of going to be unfortunate because you'll have to probably wait until Nature Thyroid and WP Thyroid comes out. But for the majority of you listening to this, you will be able to find relief using one or more of the three recommendations that I've that I've held that I uh, uh, talked about below or talked about just now. Um, so make sure you check that out. If you have any questions about Nature Thyroid or WP Thyroid or when they're going to be back, let me know. Leave them in the comments below. And remember, I will send an update to you guys either via video or via an email. So if you want to be updated when those changes occur, just sign up for my email list or just click notifications on the YouTube video so you will get notified. That way you can that way you can get back on it if you need to. Um, and if you have any other questions, leave them below. And if you haven't already, make sure that you download my free thyroid PDF resources. I have tons of information all designed to help thyroid patients like you feel better. So that's all I have for you guys today. And otherwise, I will see you in the next one.